How are you, Mike? Not good, really. I mean, surviving. Times are difficult at the moment, I guess. I tell you, I yes, John, it's, it's really difficult at the moment. You know, and what I've really struggled with is how it seems all of the bodies that I want to go to to say, hey, you know, there's something going on, that, you know, they're not interested. Well, when you talk about bodies, you're talking about... Well, at the moment I'm talking about the letter I wanted to get published in the British Dental Journal. I really wanted them published. And it was the way they dismissed it and how they dismissed it. And I'm just thinking, well... Tell me about that. How, how did they dismiss it? Well, he... The editor just said, oh, you know, he's a nice guy and he's given me lots of, you know, he, he published stuff where, you know, previous editors never published stuff of my father. I mean, it would just be, you know, or a little bit of what he said, you know. He just found it very difficult to publish anything ever. And the editor published lots of what I said. I tried to push for this debate on etiology of malocclusion. So I, I wrote numerous letters in the British Dental Journal saying, look, in like letters to the editor? Like letters Not to the articles. editor. Not articles? I did an article. I wrote uh, an editor. I started with an editorial, The Black Swan, in 2009. I then wrote lots of letters in the British Dental Journal. And of course, I was and also... And they published all the letters. At the end, he became quite resistant to publishing. But I can understand. You know, He's running a magazine. He's running something that he wants to be topical and popular and engaging. And they weren't getting any response. You know, no one was responding to my letters. But, well, the orthodontists were. but And that was no negatively. That was negatively. So he was so getting what, some negative feedback from what he was doing and no positive feedback. Not much. He just got, got yes. Yeah. It didn't seem to go anywhere. And he's just saying to me, look, no one's interested. You know, yeah. it's great. No one's interested in the subject. So, you know, we're not going to bother. And there's it. no extra interest by virtue of the fact that there's... Um, a future event no I, well I said I, I talked about this court case and they said look very sorry to hear about this but you know uh, you know there's no pe people aren't interested in this there's there's no you know right the, the dentists aren't interested so we're not going to publish yet and I'm thinking okay so uh, you know I've been to the general dental council I've been to oh, I've been to everyone I can think about I'll there's try two things one. though aren't there there really the, the one is the fact that when it's when the growth has gone badly, they won't acknowledge that that's happened. And the other thing is, I think more importantly, is because they won't acknowledge what happens, the simple, inexpensive public health measures that could be done to reduce it in the five, six and seven year olds, there's no enthusiasm or acknowledgement for that either. Well, John, there's two things. So we've got the, the point is that, we're, that we've got, and they made this clear in this letter, we've got two points. is the fact that there are some potential risks from orthodontics when it is retractive. When orthodontics yeah. are retractive, there's, you know, a lot of people and a lot of circumstantial evidence that really is, you can smell the smoke that says it could Retractive orthodontics could be compounding or causing sleep apnea, which means potentially an elective procedure could be, you know, shortening your life, reducing your intelligence, um, reducing your facial appearance, and, and you know, through sleep apnea, causing lots of problems. And the we, we, we're missing the, the chance of prevention. I mean, you know, orthotropics is never going to be for everyone. Even my brace might not be for everyone. But prevention, well, this is simple. Sit up straight or stand up straight and shut your mouth. These are hardly new ideas. Eat with your mouth closed. You know, chew some gum. If people just realise the power of these very simple, cheap things, we could really be helping the population. But we need to get the information. We just need scientific engagement. We need scientific debate. And I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. It seems I'm stuck in one of those movies going around trying to tell everyone that there's a problem going on and no one seems to be at all interested. I'm not allowed to talk about this court case because you're not allowed to. I'm, I'm, and it, it's, it's, like, it's a setup. It's just a goddamn setup. And... So it seems to me that there's two issues here. One is we're talking about treatment, orthodontic treatment on 
young adults, 12, 13 year olds, got a full dentition. Yep. And then we're also, you and I, are looking at a group of five, six, seven year olds and trying to do something preventative. Mm. Mm. If they will not acknowledge the one, they cannot acknowledge the other. No. And this is my experience, is that the orthodontists are extremely resistant to this idea, but the dentists aren't. No, dentists aren't. That's why I wanted to get something out in the British Dental Journal. I mean, I need to wake up the dentists, make the dentists sit up and think. Because, sorry, we've got, we've got, <clears throat> there, there is rot in the state of orthodontics. And all I'm asking for is debate. All I'm asking for is de it's debate on why are teeth crooked? That's my thing. Is, is it too hard for depression to engage with me and have a debate on my teeth are crooked? And directly, and I mean directly because they haven't done that, I risk losing my license. Because this case, and I, I can say this much, it hinges around why teeth are crooked. That is the central core feature in this debate, and in this I sort of court case. And I'm right in thinking that the crooked teeth is a result of poor growth and development of the cranial bones. Yeah, the face. Well, the, the bones that make up the face and the whole of the cranium. I mean, if one bone in the cranium is distorted, they're all distorted. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, a yeah. it's a jigsaw if, puzzle. If, if one bone is distorted, they're all distorted. If you don't have enough space in your mouth for all of your teeth, yeah. something's gone wrong. Yeah, that's a, a process that's resulted in undersized jaws, mm. which will result in undersized nasal passages and an undersized airway. And if the maxilla is not on, the maxilla are not only undersized but a set back, which is what we claim, then this is going to affect the pharyngeal airway as well. I, I, I it's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, all I need mm. is a free, fair and full platform. All I'm asking for is a scientific process. There's so much I can say, there's so much I can add to the narrative, to the conversation. But and we just, but this is suppression. And what you're doing is you're making claims based on your belief and experience and evidence that you and you've mm. and had for two generations and you make statements and claims for treatment and the authorities claim that you cannot make those statements because you cannot make the changes that you claim you can make. Yeah. But I, I don't, you know, I, I think we're getting, my, my, uh, my data is ready to be looked at by any team of researchers that are willing to look at them. I'm paying my taxes. I'm paying the salaries of all of those teams just in this country, any one of them, I invite them all, any one of them, to come and look at my results. Please come and look. Please, please come and analyze. Just help me compare to what you're doing and vice versa. That's the nature of science. You just can't ignore me because what I'm saying doesn't fit. But those requests have been ignored. Always ignored. Been ignored for 40 years. Yeah, and the father was the same. Yeah, they ignored dad, they ignored me. Um, and, you know, it's just easy to label someone as a charlatan. It's easy to ruin someone's reputation. Oh, I think that's been done. Um, yeah. That's a done deal. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I say, I've been to lectures and listened to people say and quote, that he's a known charlatan. Yeah. And that's in an orthodontic, an orthodontist, that was his opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's amazing how you can be a known charlatan when no one has actually ever proven you wrong on anything. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I, so what are your coping mechanisms with all this stress? Walk around in circles. I mean, physically, are you doing anything? I mean... You... I, I do a bit of cycling. i um got a nice family. I'm having a having a eight and a six-year-old kids who are there when I get home, that is just something, you know, that, that helps more than anything else. And so does my wife. She's wonderful. And talking of that, job, I mean, a very loving family. I mean, very that's evident. Family. I mean, that that's must evident. give huge yeah, satisfaction. It does, does. But I tell you, I, I'm wearing everything through in, in every single angle. You know, John, I don't make any money out of doing this. And I've spent so much capital that I never really earned. It was all from houses and property and inheritance and i've just yeah. 
Blowing it all on the legal case. Blowing it all. No, not just the legal case. Just, just keeping the clinic going, buying the scanners, paying staff. Um, you know, I've lost money. Yeah. You know? So what can people do to help you, Mike? <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of people out there okay, yeah. with a lot of sympathy and understanding for you and your father's plight, and people would like to help. Tell, tell me what people could do well, to help. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to start what is, it could only be described as a revolution of thinking because, God, we need it. And I've no experience of organising a revolution. I've no idea what I'm doing. I was hoping if people could come together on our Patreon site, you know, at least then if, if you're there, you can give us five pound, five dollars a month, which is a help. You know, money, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm English, we're not supposed to talk, ask for money, but God, I need money. I, I need, I need help. We, we need to get this movement going. It needs legs. And then we're going to need a multitude of different things we need people to help us with. But if you come to that Patreon channel, and we might find somewhere else, but we're starting there, and then we can start this revolution. We need people to spread this message, people to get things out there. Because there seems to be no one, and I mean no one, in the authority or in the places that have been set up for that purpose that's interested. So there's two things that we're really looking for here, aren't there? One is people to support us financially, and the other is we're really looking for some expertise and help in getting the patron site working a little bit better for us. You want someone with yeah, uh, expertise in that area. I think it's not just the patron. I mean, that's just the start. I mean, we, we need people in communications. We need. I'd love someone in London here who could, you know, come down, dedicate a little bit of their time, meet us here, help get the information out. I've got loads of great cases. I've got loads of material. But I just work so so hard, John. Yes. Everything's against me. And, you know, these, this court case against me, you know, this is what the, the, the big corporates do to the little man. They throw court cases at you. You're not allowed to talk about them. You're supposed to climb into a little hole and just disappear. We don't want to hear from you. And, of course, what's my insurance premium going to be after this? You know? I would it's think crazy. it will increase. Massively. Of yeah. course it will. Even, even if I win the case. Even, you know, I've, I've, I'm not using my insurance, the, the insurance company, to fund this. But it'll still go up. It'll go up a lot. Yeah, yeah. But such is life. Anyway, that's not, I'm, 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 okay. Listen, any, any, any help would be really useful. Thank you very much. Join the Patreon if you can.